Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find Laplace of hyperbolic sine. So here we have given this f of t is equals to this hyperbolic sine. Yes, and we have to find its Laplace. So we have to find this Laplace by using definition of Laplace transform. So here we have Yes, when we have one function f of t, yes, we can find its Laplace by using this definition. Yes, here we have integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t, integration with respect to t, right? So now here we have to find the Laplace of this. So here we have to write the sine of h a t, right? So here we have integral of e raised to minus s t sine of h a t. Yes. Now, yes, we know that, yes, we have this sine of h x. This is hyperbolic sine. We can write this is in exponential form. So what is here we have? e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2, right? So, by using this, we can write this sine of h a t as this is e raised to a t minus e raised to minus a t by 2, right? Yes. Now we can take this is 1 by 2 outside and we can separate this integral. So here we have, yes, this is e raised to minus st, e raised to a t, yes, and same here, yes, e raised to minus st, e raised to minus a t, this is d t, yes, this is here we have minus, yes. Right. Now, yes, we can check that this is similar to the definition of Laplace transform. Yes, this is here we have definition of Laplace, right? So, we can write this is as a Laplace of e raised to a t. Yes, and this is minus here we have this is same here Laplace of e raised to minus a t. Yes. We have write down this is by using definition of Laplace, right? Yes, we can compare this is here f of t as this is e raised to a t and same here f of t is here e raised to minus a t, right? Yes. Next, we have to write down Laplace of e raised to a t and this e raised to minus a t. Yes, we know that what is the Laplace of this e raised to a t. Yes, so here we have Laplace of e raised to a t. What is this? This is 1 upon s minus a and this is Laplace of e raised to minus a t, this is 1 upon, this is s plus a, right? Yes. Now, we can simplify this is here. So, yes, on doing cross multiplication, here we have, in denominator, here we have this is, and in numerator, we have this s plus a, this minus s minus a, right? Now, yes, this is s minus a, s plus a. So, here we can write this is s square minus a square. And in numerator, this minus s plus s get cancelled and this minus minus get plus. So, here we have this is twice a, right? Yes, we have this, we have used this formula. This is here, right? So, what we got here, this is, we got, this is Laplace of sine of h a t, yes. What is this? This is, yes, when we simplify this, yes, we got this 2 to get cancelled. So, here we have 
a upon s square minus a square. This is the Laplace of sin h a t. Yes, this is we got a upon s square minus a square where a is constant, right? And we have to check what is the condition on this s here. Yes, now we have Yes, we have seen in last lecture when we find the Laplace of this e raised to a t and e raised to minus a t. What is the condition on this? Yes, this is here we have s is greater than a. Yes, and s is greater than minus a. Yes, right? Yes, we have seen how we got these two conditions in last lecture, right? So now we have make the use of these two condition here. So what is this condition? S is greater than a and s is this greater than minus a right so combinedly we can say that here s is greater than mod of a right and from this is we can say that this is s square is greater than this a square so here we have to say that this is s square is greater than a square this is the condition on this laplace that means s is greater than this mod of a yes so we have find Laplace of hyperbolic sine. Yes. Now by putting the any value of a, we can find Laplace of hyperbolic sine. So if we have this is, yes, we have put a is equals to 1 by 2. So what is the Laplace of this is? This is 1 by 2 upon s square minus 1 by 2 it square, right? Similarly, if we have to find Laplace of this is sin h phi u x. Yes, we have changed the variable x here. Yes, instead of t, we have write down x. So, what is the Laplace? Laplace is here. This is phi u upon s square minus phi u square, right? So, yes, this is a is here phi u. Yes. So, in this way, we have to find the Laplace of hyperbolic sine. So yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.